Fun. <clears throat> Are we God. starting? Yeah, we this are so recording. This is sweet. I like this. Awesome. Thing. I appreciate it. No, no problem. Put a lot of work into it. No doubt. I, yeah, I bet. This is like, it's pretty interesting. You got the Switch. Yeah, I got the <laughs> Xbox, the PlayStation, oh my God. the computer. This is like the ultimate. The ultimate, the ultimate case. All those collectibles. Yes. Yeah, Seriously. Like, I got a, my friend <laughs> gave, gave me some Fallout stuff. Oh my god. So there's a helmet and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. This is like yeah, beautiful. I love, I love it. Helps I love it. Yeah. Great, man. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> you guys look like you're doing a good uh, good thing here, man. We're it's trying, like man. Fun. We're sure. trying. But right I mean, more props to him, bro. He always gives us the room and he. Yeah, because I started doing a YouTube Thanks. channel. Uh, for you? Thank you. Own. And I know they don't like drinking, so I'm going to take one. It's all right. If we're going to lie like that, that's cool. Okay. Ooh, should I use my... <laughs> nah, I'm not. Wait, what are you going to use? I had a... Remember I had that dumbass, uh... That lightning bulb shot glass? Bring it, bro. Oh, bro. You, you're going to take a shot, too? Yeah. Ah, I don't... Come on. I don't like drinking. <laughs> All you're it does is, like, it upset my stomach. You're on the other side of the spectrum, right? Yeah. Like, I feel you. I totally feel right. you, man. Absolutely. Should definitely... Intro. Yeah, for sure. Marvels. All right. You, yeah, where's, where's, the, where's the music? I, didn't hear you. No, I, wish, I wish. That's the next stage of production value. <laughs> we need a band like Jimmy, like Jimmy Fallon, or one of the Jimmys that oh, has a fucking band. Yeah, like some <laughs> some late night, you know, kind of like Just some, some like WWE fireworks and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, like, <laughs> Titan, Titan <laughs> Tron and stuff. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show that. Oh, yeah. You're floating. You're on anthem when you walk into the podcast. That's where you're gonna set up that hallway for. You're gonna set up that. Always uh, like a walkthrough, put a camera, a little red like carpet. A, you know, <laughs> 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 just plug the audience in, and you're good to go. Like coming happened. up next. All right, We're all right, I'm gonna let you do it. All right. I don't think we. I don't think in Union City there's a lot of people that. I wouldn't necessarily say. Hmm. People that are honest, as honest as they want to be or can be. You know, we we're fed a lot of lies and the Board of Education and Union City and, and all over the place nowadays, especially. I don't think there's anybody that's been as honest with me in this city or this world even than this man right here, Mr. Kenny Medina, bro. Much appreciated. Thank you. We got it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for coming on. It's a, it's a pleasure. Bro, absolutely. We've absolutely. had, uh, I would call you like, I was going to say the Alex Jones, but we already have an Alex Jones type person. We have, <laughs> we have another Alex Jones <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man, but how you been though? How's everything? All right. You know, still obviously like in the grind. You know, in the wheels and turning, and you know everything's just like eight years on now. Still working in, you know, as a <laughs> public educator. So mm -hmm. You're still in in Union City. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm teaching at two elementary schools now. I'm at Robert Waters and at Roosevelt. So oh, you're at Robert Waters. Wa yeah, yeah. I was there for a little bit. Okay. I was out, and I came back. And I came back again, and so you know, it's more like. You know, uh, nothing against the kids, but it's sort of like the way that, that the system places you sometimes. It, it's, it's almost like you're a manager for, like, different, like, retail like stores. Like, like, you go to this McDonald's and you do this. Now, you go to this one and you go fix that. Or you, go what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or sometimes just, to, you know, like, instead of rubber rooming you, you know, they just put you in little tasks like that. They say, okay, you go do this while we play with the big toys. You know, gotcha. We play you with the budget or what have you. You yeah. had a little bit of a reputation of like them moving you around. Cause I remember you, we were chilling in like twenty seventeen, um, my second to last year of high school. You were there, fine, and then I quit. <clears throat> yeah, I had to stop doing marching band um, after school because okay. it just wasn't like like the hours just weren't jiving. With, like they weren't meshing well with my home life schedule. So my supervisor at the time decided. Well, she wanted all of the marching band staff in one, like teaching in one building and then to just report to marching band like right after. So because I didn't want to do marching band anymore, in her mind, logistically, it just made more sense to have me go somewhere else and then have, uh, I think he was a sub now. I think he's got his teaching certificate now. Remember Anildo? Oh, the Cuban guy. Yes. Bro, the Anildo guy with Russo. the drumsticks. Remember he would go into every class and just start playing on the desk? Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he was a G. Re really good. He was a G. But, um, but yeah, so like, I, you know, they had him and... Uh, other people come in, um, super cool dude, but, but yeah, it, it was just like, um, I guess he was just trying to like, uh, you know, again, like just logistically have everything set up where yeah. like all the teachers were in the same building, so like whatever, well, 
yeah, everything was okay, I guess. Then they moved me, and then I kept getting moved around, and so I don't play well with others too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't like, play like, a politics game. Be, uh, it, it kind no. of makes you a little annoyed, no? Having to constantly be on the move? I mean, if... Or irritable, I should say. I mean, from my perspective, because I, I you can't make... I, I can't say that that's what they're doing, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't surprise me um, if it were, like, retaliatory in a way. Um, I mean, if that's the worst, then... Okay, yeah. then, that, then that big deal, like big fucking deal. So I walk from one building where I go this way. Like, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It's, you know, maybe more like as I get older, if they, you know, if I stay in that route, I'm like, oh, maybe. Yeah, okay. Start to play. <laughs> like, a, ah, I'm back. <laughs> like one of those. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I'd rather do that than, like, you know, lick ass and, like, yeah. just, like <laughs> yes, you know, govern me harder. <laughs> like, you know, Brian, I love you, Brian. You know, like, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, like that whole thing. <clears throat> like, now, now you're here. We go now. Oh, yeah. Cheers <laughs> to that. Jesus. Salute, Cheers to gentlemen. That. Like, <laughs> that's a, that's a joke about everybody. Brian. Here we go. To Brian. Mm. <laughs> to Stack. Oh, God. Heaven help us. Well, um, well, but yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> Uh, That's how right. How do you feel like teaching in elementary versus like being in the high school now? I love uh, it. Com vice, like just between the two, he, you know. Here's the thing. It's like the light is still in their eyes. You know, like that. That's mm. how. That's how I see. You know, like they're still curious about things. They're still like ready to learn. It's not so much about <clears throat> like obedience or like you do this and you stay in line because, you know, um, you know, for their brains. It, learning is not just like in a straight line like it goes out you, you, there's one point and then all of a sudden it branches out and it can become like any number of things you know so like you could have kids informing themselves about one subject through other subjects or other things that they actually give yeah. a shit about and if they're into something you're they're gonna learn it no matter what whether you say no whether you say yes no matter how it, you know they'll go for the education that suits them best right even if it means self-education Right, that I picked up from this uh, educational theorist. Like he was a former teacher, uh, John Taylor Gatto. Like if you ever look into him, he, he was like New York City uh, Teacher of the Year, New York State Teacher of the Year, like back in the day. And you know he he said that, and I I believe that absolutely. Like children will find like, you know, if they're curious about something, they're gonna go for it, and that's it. Like there's you know it's a good thing too. Like there's no stopping if they're it's really really into a subject they'll dig in one yeah. way or another you know come hell or high water school or no school yeah. family no family doesn't matter yeah. um it's just like some for some reason like we get older and all of a sudden things start to like calcify more it feels limiting and, it feels uh, limiting I yeah think. because then it goes from this back to like okay it's gotta yeah. be this yeah. one yeah. way and, whoosh, and it's just a pipeline you know <clears> with <throat> the diploma at the end to go to like the next thing it's just like this yeah you know it's it's so cyclical because, it, but in a bad way. It's not they're not trying to teach you anything new. They want you to be a part of that machine, just another cog in that yeah. thing. And we used to sure we used to talk about that so much in high school. And like, I at a I want to say my sophomore year, I started to become very apathetic toward everything, like the whole system sure. and how, it, how it, like oh I really gotta work hard to get this piece of paper to go get some nine to five office job like. Not to get that. another piece of paper to then get yeah. the nine to five. Right. Then, That's crazy. Then I end up finishing high school and I work for like the McDonald's, the startup company. But then I find myself in an office job again, mm. nine to five. So <laughs> <awesome>. No <laughs> change. It's, it's just, right, like uh, you become right a member of the 40, 40, 40 club. Like you work forty hours a week for forty years of your life for only forty percent of what you really earn. Damn. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of what happens. You yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> like someone put it in perspective. It's like you li you can live a seventy five your life but you spent like 20 of it sleeping and yeah. then like all right <laughs> yeah and then right. you put in the education system and then you put in the like education school. system that you have to go in afterward or getting a job before you can actually sustain yourself and then do what you want to do with sure. your life it's just enough to keep you to retirement age yeah. and all of a sudden <laughs> bah, kill well, me. Uh, we might not even have retirement i heard social security is gonna like they're out it's i um, oh that that's a yeah that's a whole like that's a whole other can of worms i mean you know, it's like paying for, for lifestyles, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. ultimately. I mean, you know, some people need it, but it's it's un, it's it's unsustainable in the long run. In the long run, those types of things, even Social Security, it's just, 
you know, ultimately it, it winds up becoming like a Ponzi scheme. You know, like that's really what you're looking at. Um, you know, that's why they try so hard to not let you get there. It, it's you know, it's also like you know, why not keep more of your money? You know, so you can save it yeah. or spend it as you see fit throughout your life instead of having to wait till the end to file and ask permission for it and then for them to say, well, you know, we'll give you this portion of it. And maybe we'll increase it this much due to inflation. <laughs> and here you go. Here's your so many mitigating factors. And then $20. yeah, and then all and they're like, well, I mean, I can't buy all the food I want at Walmart. Like shit. Like well, now what do I do? <laughs> I feel bad for a lot of these older women because I work at a supermarket mm. and a lot of these older women are on food stamps for mm -hmm. that very reason. Their yeah. social security is just too low. It's almost like maybe a 200 a month, which is nothing. It doesn't yeah. cover them for anything and I feel so bad. And I always wondered why they complain so much about the prices. And then I started talking to one of them. She told me it's just like simply social security doesn't cover what I'm trying to, um, how, my, the cost of living. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, and uh, it makes me feel so bad about them. But the cost of living just keeps going up. Exactly. Right the inflation is getting worse and worse. Oh, yeah. What do you think about that? The inflation <laughs> that's... Because I know you weren't a big fan of, like, big government. From what we used to talk about back then. I remember you were the one that put me on the idea of, like, they're always out to control. Because you taught me that government, the root word, there's two. So it's govern, it's control, mm -hmm. and ment comes from, like, mental, right. mind. Control of the mind, mind control. Um, it's what, like a gubernat like when we have a governor's race. It's like it's a gubernatorial race. Well, we don't say well. Why is it gubernatorial, not governatorial? Because guber or gubernate <laughs> is closer to Latin of control and a of actual, you know, control over people than is just governorship. It it's almost like that V gives you a little more sovereignty, <laughs> you know, than the B with gubernate. Like, oh my God, that's tense. Yes, master. You know? Um, but that, yeah, government in your face. It's mind control in your face, yeah. right? Mind control. Governing the mind. Um, and, and, yeah, I, you know, light touch government, if any, you know, like at that point. Yeah. Big government is just obviously like the worst, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you just, you know, you, you get lawed to death, you get regulated to death, and then we're in the, you know, <laughs> we're in the stymies that we're in now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like you can't afford food, you can't afford the rent, you know, it's just like you're scraping and struggling just to get by on things. Yeah. You know, well, why can't I have success? Or why can't I, you know, build this empire that I want? Like, they keep well, you down. For, yeah, for the most part, it's just yeah. like a lot of like, well, damn it, like, you know, I didn't get to buy the cheap land, you know, when the boomers had it, you know, I didn't get to <laughs> like, you know, I have to go through more red tape and more certifications and, and you know, uh, papers and things. And the bureaucracy just of to all show, of it, yeah. yeah, just to show you, like, yes, here is my, you know, <laughs> my presence. Here, here it is, <laughs> up to you. It's, like, it's all just to make you wait in line. I feel like sometimes. Like, yeah, it's just control. Just, you know to, what I mean? like, just to get my social security card. It took like two weeks, and the first week was like, hey, <laughs> you can do it online. I went to the place. The guy was like, yeah, you can do it online. Then I found out that I needed something else to do it online, so I had to go back anyway. And then, <laughs> then when I, I went and did it anyway, I was like, all right, I'm just going to do it manually. And all I had to do was submit my social security number and then just show my passport, and it was five minutes. And I was just like... What, what what did I really need? Whatever this online shit was, like, yeah. right. abolish the DMV. Yeah. It's abol <laughs> yeah. abolish the DMVs, <clears throat> all these bureaucratic buildings. Abolish all that oh shit. Oh my god, it's like I'm done with we're, it. We're not the first to say that, but yeah, it's like <laughs> I like those businesses were called. But uh, someone told me that like the DMV and things like that are like businesses that are running just to keep themselves alive. Like there's right. really no point into it. Like you could get rid of the DMV, but getting rid of it would basically just get rid of all the jobs. That all those DMV people have, and that's it. Largely. Like, that's really much the only the only change, because everything could be done online. Everything can already be A sold. lot, yeah, a lot of it is already just at your fingertips, so, you know. Yeah. We need They're just it. locking it down. Sure, mm -hmm. ab ab come absolutely. In. Come in. <laughs> absolutely, just a self-sustaining little creature that, you know, you that can't. That doesn't want to die. And, and, <laughs> yeah, an, an alphabet, you know, creature that just you cannot get rid of, you know what I mean? Like, alphabet agencies, right? Yeah. You know, FBI, FBI CIA. CIA. Uh, you know, uh, Department of Education, you know, like all oh, the department this, department that, you know, Department of Departments, like just get <laughs> like, squash them, squash them, you know what I mean, to a flattened point and then just clean the slate, start over, um, you know, uh, more self-reliance, keep more of your money, you know what I mean, if, like, 
you know, I always say like it would be nice if there were no federal income taxes. First of all, like that would be great. Yeah. You know, and then if you you know if your state has an income tax, then go somewhere where you know the state doesn't have income tax. Yeah. And then you could keep more of your money. I mean, imagine that. Like, you keep more of your money, and then you get to save it. You know, the other thing, too, like, you know, I don't mean to go into, like, a, a tax rant, but it's just like, <laughs> you know, they, they don't ask you for it. Like, they just take it. Like, yeah. they just yeah. rip it right I mean, out they of they your check. They don't tell you where it goes. They, they don't show right. you at all. You're obligated to, to sort of itemize, like, well, where did you work? How much did you get paid? You, like, so you have to fork over all this information. Well, there should be something reciprocal. It should be, well, what did you spend on? Did you spend on roads? Did the government spend on this? Did you spend exactly. on this? Yeah, did you spend on did education? Exactly where's my, my, where's my, my money? Right, money going right. Going yeah, like, like per my capital, like, well, how does, how does my income break down? You know, you don't get You, you don't get any receipt like, whatsoever. No. But they rip it right out of you. I always thought it was funny, like, because I... I've only I've done my taxes like two or three times, uh, but I don't really like, understand this uh, this thing like the concept of the IRS. It's like you can automatically take my money, but then somehow if you don't take enough, I'm not paying you enough. Yeah. Or, like I don't, I just never understood how that whole concept works. It it, it it's like a. a th- thicket of rules that have been built within <laughs> that body just to keep you conf- I mean just literally just to keep you averse to reading through the whole thing right because before you can actually like you know massage or you know actually have the rules bend to your favor you actually have to know them and unfortunately they make them like just so thick like the, the tax code is like phone books deep yeah that's one of the things that's you know? always bothered me like how do you how do you take all my money and t- before I even get it, and then at the end of the year you ask me how much I made? Like, shouldn't you know if you already been taking it? <laughs> Abs- <laughs> right, absolutism. Like, why is all this information things that you that I need to give you when you already like basically have it at your fingertips since you basically already took my money before I got it? Right, and, and imagine you don't pay. And if you don't pay, you go to jail. You go to jail. Exactly. Like, like, arrested for that shit. <laughs> if you know what I mean, like if if you're successful, you, you don't tell no, us how okay. much you made. They put you in jail, right away. No trial, no, no nothing. Even though you take how much you make, you go to jail. <laughs> yeah, go for it. You know what I mean? Um, that effectively really should only be paying for, uh, you know, military um, and, like, some some law enforcement and diplomacy. I mean, like, if you really want to break the country <clears throat> down besides, like, you know, borders, language, and culture, then what you have is to protect the territory, so the IRS... So you, you have to pay for some kind of, of force, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, and, and when I say law enforcement, it also doesn't just mean, like, cops, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you, you have well-regulated militias, so yeah. now he's going to go down the militia. Um, so, wait, I have a question you know I mean? for you. Uh, sure. Obviously, the big government doesn't seem like the solution sometimes, but to counter all that, you know, let's not put money into the streets, let's not put money into this, let's just, let's just keep more of our money. What happens to that stuff, right? What happens to the roads? What happens to the schools? What happens to all those systems? Do they all just collapse? Like, you know, privatized. You know what I mean? The oh, private yeah. charities, private schools, private developers. Pri- you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, the, you know, there's some people who say that all charity should be private. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Everything should be privatized to some degree because, you know, when you have government, you have waste, right? Mm-hmm. Or, like, like, why aren't things done efficiently, right? Uh, it's, it's absolutism mitigated by sloppiness. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, for as much as they try to tighten their control over things more stuff slips out of their fingers you know it's just like so what you know where do I, they learn the lesson i i hate a lot of like i, I want to be very careful about how i word this but i, I hate a lot <laughs> of governmentally structured uh information like so for example i'm on unemployment right now because mm-hmm. um, and i can talk about this now because before i couldn't but sure. my company that i used to work for the office the job uh, it went bankrupt, uh, mm-hmm. so whatever, and that's why I got let go because one of my my contract was one of the things that were deemed unnecessary mm-hmm. for, continue, or for the business to operate. Um, but now it's just like it, it doesn't make sense to me why it went that way, and it's just like I get punished for something that they do, whatever. But now when I'm going through unemployment, if there's like an issue or whatever, they go like, "Oh, here, send you an email. Click this link if you have issues." But every time you click on those links like that, it's like. Oh, this what this domain is not found and shit. Oh boy. And it's just like <laughs> wait, <laughs> yeah. I love it. keep waiting in line. It's I love that. it. Keep it's waiting like, in line. But it's like if you genuinely if I genuinely had an issue, where would I go? Because then you gotta go to like what con- contact us like on on their fucking website. Right. And like the like you have to like <laughs> show up at Trent and like start knocking on doors like hey like, help. Sometimes that's what it, like well, that's what it takes like you just have to physically go to some yeah. place almost and every, wait like almost every government issued like email too is also a do not reply email. Sure. So it's like, what <laughs> uh, what yeah. the fuck? 
They yeah they, they um yeah they like it like that. You know what I mean? Don't <laughs> don't call us. We'll call, we'll call you. you when it's time. We'll call you. We'll show up now. When they finally call though, it feels like you're chosen. Like, like oh god. Nah. <laughs> you get lifted. You're like oh. Chosen or in trouble. Well, they want you to feel that way. You know what I mean? Like that's why they, they, pillars and columns in front of the, the courts. You know, like for all those buildings, they want you to feel like you're walking into the hall of the gods. Yeah, because they're, they're temples. Yeah. At the end of the day, they're, they're signs. I guess like they're, they're <laughs> to make you feel that type of way. Well, the, that's the, why it's the, like... the real gods are are like um, I mean, besides government or corporations, like those are en- like humanized entities that don't die. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Walmart. <laughs> And Target, they're not buildings or even the people. They're like pieces of paper in filing cabinets. Somewhere that you've never been to or heard of before. Like, that's the corporation. That's the corporate body. And so then, you know, you can take them to court. You know what I mean? They can be subpoenaed or whatever. But, you know, like, they they don't die. So, like, yeah. this, it's another thing. So when you have, like, you know, governments and corporations working together, they share that immortality. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, well, here and even we if are. you think they die, like they'll lose the Walmart <laughs> name, they'll just be Bob Alpine. Rebranded. Like something else. It'll yeah. be yeah. Meta, or like, it'll be yeah. Marvel, <laughs> or like, you know, some, <laughs> something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. It, it just, you know, reanimates into some other, you know. I was uh, watching um, this YouTube video about how bad the metaverse might get one day. And it's like, imagine if one day, instead of having to go to a grocery shop, you like go to like I guess the door. You put on like a VR headset and buy some shit, and then just like deliver it to you. That's crazy. And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. like that that'd be crazy. But like that's how we get closer to the fat people at Wally. Yeah. And what? <laughs> oh yeah. The floating chair guys. guys. That was great. That was a great movie. You yeah. saw that? It was just so scary. Meta is losing mm-hmm. so much in stock right now. I heard, heard about that. VR shit just to keep us yeah, out, like inside. <laughs> yeah. But they're a part of it, right? To atomize us. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think sure. they want to keep us like taking up as least amount of space. Like let's not, because like, if they can make it where we don't really have to go outside for anything, most they could just compress everything and have like cities like New York type shit where there's just houses everybody stacked up together living right. even their thing with their VR headset order their food like you said but like Soylent Green yeah, right? yeah. have you ever seen Soylent Green where like, like millions and millions have, and millions, yeah. of millions of people like lit- literally stacked up on top of each other like they don't know what to do like a favela like in Brazil and the thing right then the, the scoopers come up like scoopers are on their way and they pick up people and like the Soylent Green <laughs> you know you make yeah. the food out of the people it's just that's, crazy. that's what it is if you get something for free it's not free. You are the product. Yeah. That's the point. If you don't pay for a service, you are the product. They're getting your information. So when you get the app or when you download this and you're using this thing or you're using this free, wow, it's free. No, you're the product, just like the free turkeys and toys. No, you're the vote. Even like, for you, free, you're, even like free things, you're, you're a test. You yeah you're in that position you know what yeah, I mean like it, it's selling a role you information reversal. or selling you ads sure it's the same product, thing really and you're like and some people you know like oh what's wrong with that I was like well wait a minute remember the you know private public partnerships and all of a sudden then you say well I don't care if they sell my data I've got nothing to hide but you know then that data goes somewhere else and it goes somewhere else and it winds up in the hands of your government you know what I mean it it, it like that's what it that's what winds up happening you know what I mean like they'll pay for that. Like, like governments will pay for that. Municipal governments, state government, like they will pay for that information just to know about you, just to know about what is going on. Yeah, like the government TikTok. asking uh, Apple, like pay, trying to pay Apple like billions of dollars to get access to like their information, but Apple like denying it because yeah. that's one of their things they want to like keep it away or apparently. But like I don't, I don't know if that. That sounds like public relations. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I. I that sounds like bullshit. To yeah, me. it's like <laughs> I, I believe, like you know. Uh, none of what I hear and half of what I exactly. see. You know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> airing on the side of caution. So I see a loser. You know what I mean? Mark Zuckerberg went to went to trial for shit like that. He he. They took him to court for for, for selling hella data, selling a lot, a lot of information right. to foreign enemies apparently and stuff sure. like that. It's crazy. It's okay, that's all right. You know, they get but see that that's the thing. You know, corporately they they're afforded protections. You know what I mean? Like they're afforded some kind. Of leeway. easement, yeah. yeah what is what happened after that? Facebook died. Now it's Meta. Yeah. Right, and now it's like it's plummeting slowly. Yeah. Taking taking a dive there. Why is that? Those those court cases, like clips of them, were funny. And it was Hilarious. Like, the guy, the, the the representative would be like, "Oh, would you share the location of where you stayed at? Uh, what ho- hotel you're staying at?" And I'm like. There's no way he's talking about the, the Facebook check-in feature that you do in yourself. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, right. What the fuck? <laughs> it's incredible. Man. It's like you're you're giving out your information like at the end of the day. So right. yeah. you, you can always just opt out. 
But then it also showed how like inexperienced all those people were and like uninformed they were. So it was like that's happens why, that's all why the time. I made those memes. Happens well, all with, the time. It's crazy with Elon Musk now taking over Twitter. People thought it was gonna be like revolutionary, and it's also falling down the waistline. Like it's. Yeah, it's my my problem with him and, and and taking over Twitter is just that he's too closely in league with the ADL or right, the Anti Defamation League. I'm I'm not a big supporter of them. I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Uh, meaning like, uh, it's basically like anti defamation. I mean, effectively, like what they do is like they try to, you know. In, in real terms, they tamp down speech that they feel is just inflammatory or incendiary or stuff that's like really off key. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I thought he was. I thought he was. Yeah, on right. Twitter they, to go against yeah. stuff like that. Well, well, yeah, but the thing is, then you know the ADL's biggest interest, like for example, like if if you're against, uh, you know, uh, the state of Israel, then they'll have something about about that. They'll have something to say about that. Mm. Um, I bring that up and it's a touchy subject. It's a very... Especially right and, now. And, I'm, you know, doing it here and now live. No, no, no. We <laughs> could do... We can talk about whatever we want. You're but, good. but that's, you know, but that's the whole point. It's just to be able to free, to, to freely speak, to just speak yeah. your mind. You know, but the issue is that there are some groups you can't talk about. Are untouchable. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I see how... It, right, that's... that's and, and, and that's like. where the ADL comes in. You know what I mean? Like, they'll, they'll go in... You know, I mean, if you're really for free speech, it's for, you know, the speech that you hate. It's a, it's for speech that you can't stand. Like, that's the stuff that should be out on, you know, yeah. should be respected. Mm -hmm. Who's space, you know, have an open and honest debate about things and just let, you know, let the truths and the facts of the matter rise to the top and then people can come to their own ideas or consensus or whatever, you know. But when you can't criticize people just for the sake of not criticizing them and not hurting feelings and not, you know, letting people get butt hurt... That's a problem. Like that's a, and and that's where I I don't you know I don't agree. Like if 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 Elon Musk decides to join with the ADL and say we're going to tamp down on anti-Semitic speech and we're going to fight this and this is like an, an imminent battle. Oh, like Kanye getting kicked off. Like yeah. right. Oh, like you know not. he you know like yeah he made a mistake you know Defcon versus Defcon. I mean and he went on like <laughs> he went on Lex Friedman and that it, was an amazing podcast and, and admitted that it was like a mistake that yeah. he like just he like just that was like his lingo. It slipped out. He fucked up. He yeah, said yeah. he said Defcon. And, you know, and he, I mean, the biggest, you know, political optics mistake that you could ever make is mixing the word death and Jew in the same sentence. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you are in the fucking toilet. You know what I mean? You're like, Nazi, you're just. Yeah. And then you have to, like, apologize, you know, like, go, go on an apology tour. Or in this case, I guess he doubled down a little bit. You know what I mean? He said, no, like, he's got. There are people in these positions in media and finance and marketing and this and government and that. He, they proved him right. Do you, right. By letting him go. I mean, things. I think you know. On a personal note, yeah, I think he, I think they proved his point and then for someone him. Someone called for like cancellation of all his ties, and I was just like, you know what I mean, like. Where was uh, all this energy when he was talking about like, the about same the slavery and all that? The slavery yeah. was a choice and all that. Like it's the same type of like conversation. Right, but it's but, just about who the group is. Well, that's what yeah. Dave Chappelle said recently. It's about who uh, the perception, right? If they're black, it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. If there's Jews, it's just a coincidence and no one should talk about it. Right, yeah, doing. right. And it's Stop. perfectly summed up. It's right. true, though. Stop noticing. <laughs> no, that, Stop that's noticing. Because no one told them that he's wrong. They just told them to apologize. Right, right. They didn't, right. He's not a liar, but you better apologize. It's not nice. <laughs> we don't like... It's you not don't I'm nice. Gonna we don't like that you yeah. can control everything. Jeez. Absolutely. Here we go. <laughs> Um, I also have this for you because Lewis told me you might be interested. There is something. You want to open it? See a pair of glasses in here. No. Oh, is the light gonna come? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pulp fiction. Yeah. Pull away. <laughs> like that crusty crab episode. Who's gonna light it? <laughs> uh, you know what? Because I I, I don't want to be the one to like ruin it. No. no this no, fucking no. guy. He can't. He doesn't do the twist. And he doesn't do this. <laughs> and he doesn't know how to. Like, we're gonna do a get the a about, heat going. We'll do a little bit of it and then save the rest for going out. Sure, if anything. absolutely, absolutely. You got me on a roll now. I'm about to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my, I was talking to my sister. She's a teacher at uh, like a private school in North Bergen. Okay. Um, and I was telling her that we were having a teacher on and we were doing this, but said, well, because you had mentioned you're like, well, give me a blunt and a whiskey and I'll go on, I'll go to town. And I told her that she's like, is he sure? Like, does he want to lose his job? I'm like, hey. 
He said, but that's the point. Yeah. If you can't tell the truth, I mean, or, or at least speak to what your heart says, I mean, what's the point of doing anything? Like, you know, and on top of it, like, going on something like this where people are going to hear you, I mean, do I, like, no. <clears throat> I mean, and that's the why we made the podcast, so that way you can have a platform where you're not labeled by your podcast. Which I'm very grateful for. You guys are really, yeah. you know, hit the home run here. I so. think that anybody should be able to talk about because Thank like, you. One of our first guests was Sumo, and when Sumo was in high it's school, freedom. all of his shit was like it's wild freedom. things to say, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> He's been banned from Instagram. Like four times oh. again, <laughs> sumo. What he said? Uh, he's Similar he, things that Kanye said. Yeah, <laughs> but like uh, to uh, a uh, huge like, uh, it was worse than what Kanye said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A dangerous level of anti-Semitism. But, yeah. Um. Again, because we do this every other two episodes. If anybody knows where sumo is, <laughs> yeah, for real, we haven't please heard from please him. Please reach out to us. We haven't seen him. He's been banned for however long. I haven't found a new account. Let us know. Oh my god, he disappeared. Yeah, <laughs> the government got to him. <laughs> you know, it's, I think people don't know the difference between, like, especially with what's going on in Israel, like, because they're doing a lot of pretty despicable things. Sure. And, like, when you're criticizing a government and criticizing a people, those are two different things. I don't think it's mm-hmm. anti Semitic to say that Israel is. Not like their government is not the best of governments out there. Of course, especially what they're doing to what is it, Pakistan, to the Palestine, to the Palestinians, yeah, to the Palestinians. It's sad. They're keeping them on like a lockdown and treating them like third class citizens. It's not fair, and that has nothing to do with like, I think, being Jewish. I think it's just Israel, to be honest, trying to put their foot down and say no, this is ours and it'll forever be ours. All right. I think this is a Zumo moment for me. I guess I'm this person, but yeah, no, I I think it is about Judaism. I think it it, it, it is somewhere in there, you know. Um, if if you go to like if you check out uh, no K N O W no more news mm-hmm. with Adam Green, like I've been following him for a long time, and he covers a lot of the bases as far as like where, um, you know, Orthodox Jews or or let's let, let's just say like fanatical or zealot. Jews come from and their views on the goyim or their views on like you know um, pretty much any any non-jew and i mean you get very hateful rhetoric you get very hateful things um you know that get spread by rabbis you know they're part of their belief in palestinians and things like that they they you know for the most part they obviously won't be public yeah um but they don't view them as, as equal as, as far as being human is concerned. Sorry about that. Um, if you no. don't need to add, you can put it in here. That's all good. <clears throat> you know, I think a lot of that is stemmed in, in the religion. Okay. You know, there, there's a supremacy to it. Yeah, like, don't a lot of them believe like they're like the first people or whatever? Like, <clears throat> as far as like with the mysticism yeah. that they believe in. Or at least a, a, a number of them believe in say that they're um, they're shells of light, like they're containing divine light. The Jews have a divine light inside of them. The shells of, of the um, I think it's called the Kelly pot, and it's like this um, sort of like this creation story that they have, where like the mind of God has emanations, and each layer of emanation is a, is another density of reality. Um, but then from that came these, you know, like there's like a divine spark that animates and gives life. But conversely, then there's like sort of um, like an evil spark or like this void or nothingness. And so they feel that it's morally incumbent upon them to to bring morality and, you know, to the rest of the world. So they feel like that's their, their place. So it's almost like the stars of the movie. And everyone else are extras. Yeah. Unfortunately, the extras not not only do they not get paid equally, but they suffer. Quite I feel like bit. that was the best description I've ever heard of Star about that. Me. But it's just like, and and that's why like I always feel like it's not that I've never had a respect for it or or an acknowledgement of it, but that's how I've also felt about it too. That it's always like this search for this uh, this answer that you're still kind of unsure about. So it's like, what do you do with that answer when you do find it? even like what is the change force it upon what is the change about your current reality like are you gonna find out that truth and then 
<laughs> right, well, they, you know when they say that like the truth shall set you free, did they mean like knowing the truth or telling the truth? Like, yeah. <laughs> I always wonder, I was like, does that mean just knowing it or do I have to tell the truth to be free? Like, can I just know stuff? And, uh, and not bother anybody? <laughs> it seems like they don't be telling the truth either. <laughs> well, because they, they don't know, uh, maybe they don't have enough they facts to know to what the truth, the truth is. Truth. And, that's, and that's why I, I can't side with it either because I don't know what could be constituted as a truth because... We don't have the original uh, scriptures or whatever. It's been rewritten. We're so talking about times. all religion, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, just I mean, like, I I'm go yeah, I'm going down that route as well. Yeah. You, you could pick apart, you know, Judaism, but you could also pick apart Christianity. I think Christianity, Islam, Islam. Zoharism, like go down Hinduism. the gamut. Yeah, I yeah, I'm I'm not for it. I I mean, I guess you could call but it I do respect atheist. It, yeah, and yeah, no, I feel you. Um, you know, there's there's, there's 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 one thing of like upholding traditions, I guess. You know what I mean? Like if if you want to you know, uh, build family and community and, and you have things, you know, I guess when you put them into perspective, but when it becomes your identity, like, you know, um, th it's like the, the basis of your life is different from the purpose of your life. You know what I mean? Like, you know, th like, you know, I, I may be Jewish or maybe Christian and I, I base my life in that, but it's not my purpose in life to be like the most Christian yeah. Christian or the most Jewish Jew or the most Islamic, you know, Muslim, like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's Tell that to my mom. so, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So it's just like when it becomes like your identity and you become engrossed and enveloped in it, um, yeah, then you know, you're going to have problems. So yeah. you're like, Hey, the earth is flat. <laughs> sumo. <laughs> That's a right. sumo thing. I right? love watching that. And the firmament that. is the real deal. Okay, they are pl the stars and the angels are plugged in, juxtaposed next to each other, shining brightly for your heathen soul to observe. You know, like you fucks. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just come to the conclusion that like religion was all a basis to to govern and control people in a different way. So. It was just more another even with government. strata in and of itself, right? You have classes. Came to that you, conclusion ages ago. Uh, you know, I mean, but again, if you have traditions, you know what I mean. Some people grow up Catholic. Some people grow up, you know, in in different denominations and different houses of worship, and so they feel like, you know, it's uh, they they become more cultural than they do actual, you know, religions uh, or practitioner practitioners, uh, practitioners of. So. But in in the old, you know in the aggregate, I just think it's like a like a daddy thing. Like I need this protection, you know, this big strong man in the sky. I've <laughs> never seen before. Who left a book that I can't really read, and I, I, this guy knows how to read it. So I'm going to listen to him or her, and the okay. priest or priestess, right? And then all of a sudden, it's just like that's like my money, and I'll give you. Children and I'll sacrifice But did he drop a this? book? I thought it was like no, a guy people, had a dream. <laughs> that so I mean, so had like books. A, it would be like visions of it, the prophecies, creator, exactly. and then they'd write um, down what the vision meant and stuff like that. Yeah, some you know, some people think, um, well, and then translate what? that through thousands, thousands of, years of generations of, yeah. of Latin and the dead language and transferring over to like newer languages and all that shit. I feel like you can't none of this shit makes sense. From yeah, what he, from even from what they first said. Yeah, a lot, a lot of it. I mean, we're near from what they first said. From my point, of, from my point of view, a lot of it is allegorical. It's just you know stories and things to sort of you know pass on knowledge and and, and wisdom in in some degrees or like another. Greek myths or anything. Sure, like I don't believe you know snakes can talk. I don't think that you know there's a guy yeah. up there like like lightning bolts from his hand. I don't believe in women turning into pillars of salt. Like yeah. almost, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like oceans. Like teach you some sort yeah. of lesson I think that's that what the point of like the Bible is because I like the point he's trying to make that it's like used to control. Maybe throughout all those generations of. Uh, retranslating it and all that, maybe that's where the message was lost. Maybe there is a true hidden message in that stuff, in the original text that we don't know. Well, something about that, that um, uh, No More New... I, I keep plugging this thing, but like, they, <laughs> they really... He, he did a number, him and this guy, Christopher John Bjorkness. Um, he's, he's written a series of books basically suggesting and, um, I don't want to say evidence, but I mean, it's kind of bonifying the fact that a lot of what we what you've seen and read about in the Bible is an, is controlled opposition, meaning that mm -hmm. the belief in um, a messianic figure stems from um, the midrash in Judaism. So if you look up, uh, you know Jesus and the serpent, there are corollaries. Like sometimes you'll have like old frescoes of Adam and Eve 
in uh, in the garden, and the snake also has a head with mm -hmm. hair, like human. You ever yeah. seen yeah. something yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like what's that about? That's from the Jewish mysticism that goes into talking about how like Eve didn't just make it with Adam, but also made it with the serpent, and so then you have lineages outside of of uh, exactly. Cain and Abel. That's, what be, that's how they from? distinguish Cain and Abel. No, one's the evil, one's the good. That's like how it would be. Yeah, and then, and and then inside the books you have flips of that story. So you're like, like Cain and Abel, but that also goes to Esau and Yaakov. You know what I mean? Like like uh, what is that? Uh, what you call it? Like Joseph and, and the uh, and the coat of many colors, right. and then uh, and Jacob, and basically getting soul. Like uh, there's a phrase: uh, the older shall serve the younger, meaning that the uh, the evil brother actually was the good one who was going to get the inheritance, but then didn't because his brother sent him out into the wilderness, and so Jacob came in and tried to like take over. And he and he got it like you know like that that's where Jews believe that they have the divine right to go in and say okay this is our like this is our land because you owe it to us like even though it's rightfully yours textually like as far again yeah. mysticism in play <clears throat> even <throat> though it was yours we deceived you and we actually deceived our father into tr into making him think that it was us as he was dying and blind feeling his firstborn when it actually was his second. Mm. And so, and and you know, so are we the second born? And no, it. it I mean, there are people according who, to them. So well, <clears throat> yes, right. Like yeah. it, it, well, no, no. In, in effect, they're the second born. You're, you know, we're the first born. Yeah, like you know, any anyone outside of the the chosenites, <laughs> you know, the Jews, then are <laughs> the chosenites. They're, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they're the ones who should have gotten the inherit, who should have inherited the earth. You know what I mean? And the heaven above and all this stuff. Um, but they didn't get the lot because, you know, uh, Jacob came in with, uh, I think it was a goat skin. And he made his father feel that. And, he, and because he knew Esau, the older, was hairy, he said, oh, okay, I owe you. And so he thought he gave it to his firstborn when, in fact, his secondborn tricked him. With the goat skin. So there's, and also, like, that's the reason why a lot of the... Um, Old rituals still exist, like sacrifice, or like when they take the fucking chicken and they go like this around this part oh, reading the I've book. never seen that. You know what I mean? Things I've like never seen or when they go, I swear to God, things like that happen. <clears throat> or like they, they do the moil thing where like they suck the baby penis and like after it's like cut, <laughs> there have been, like in New York it happened, like there was a case of, of a rabbi who gave a baby herpes because he performed this, this Jewish traditional um, way of cleaning the circumcision point. So then they go, yeah, it's fucked up. I think it's fucked up, and a lot of and, and a lot of people will he defend told, it. No, my my brother, they'll defend it. Yeah, they'll go and they'll say me. that's part of our tradition, way of, and that's way our way, way of life. And you can't, you know. But then what happens? You have involuntaries who get hurt, you know, and in yeah, newborn. People, you know what I mean? Like, actually, people, no later than seven days. As you have I people said. that are born into that that don't, I guess, agree with it, and like you, you have a lot of people that like I guess are part of that religion that are really like, I forget what the word is for it. Um, is it Orthodox? When Orthodox, the ones that like are here, they're, they're, they're ultra very, Orthodox, very, like, like, yeah, like, like, yeah, and they like they don't associate with outsiders, like things like that. But it's, there's, there's times where there's Orthodox Jews that also try to escape and try to get out of that lifestyle. Yeah, it's a lot of documentaries close also. themselves off. A lot of books written yeah. about it. Also, um, the other other thing you're not supposed to talk about are like the blood libels. You know what I mean? Like that some people say it was a Jewish trope, done in like the medieval era or like say like 16th century, 15th century, like going back that far. You know accusatory stories of like you know the baking of bread used blood as leavening you know of children and like other goy like other people from like you know non-jewish sex and usually it would happen during the holiday of like purim p-u-r-i-m and so like it would happen right you go so like hold on to your kids and, you know like during that time or whatever i mean again i think wouldn't be surprised if, if you want you know if you want to get out of something and you, know, you just don't want people to say you said it and I accuse you like I'm gonna sue you for fucking defamation allow you just say I wouldn't be surprised okay. <laughs> that's it I wouldn't be surprised it's are you trying to say that you no I just say I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> just get out of it all just get out of it all fucking I wouldn't be surprised and you can do fucking five hours and you're good like I wouldn't be surprised yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> oh man, but but you know what? It it's like it, it's anybody. It's any fucking group. 
You know yeah. what I mean? Like any. I, no, no, I don't think that's why I remember like religion yeah. because of like some a lot of people. I think there's an exclusivity in every religion. Like as in, sure. there's always like this. A lot this of it is better, like fatalistic and apocalypse. So it's like we can't reach we'll the be beauty in the end yeah. until we're <laughs> dead and fucking covered in blood, and, like their Armageddon wars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the theatrics. <laughs> yeah, it's like super dramatic and coming out of the sky with the fire in your hand, and the laser it's eyes, like, like I'm big point. Like, doom music <laughs> playing in the background. Like right, uh, like, when the doom <laughs> music <laughs> hits. <laughs> when the doom music hits, it's just like there you go. Damn. That's the apocalypse. <laughs> 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 Jet guitar. <laughs> like With the this. God coming up. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta show Bad you later. Uh, Charlie got a, an eight string guitar uh, from my cousin. What the fuck? Yeah, Bro. and that's a jet guitar. That's my yeah. my cousin, Drop uh, F. <laughs> minus. <laughs> he, he told me some <laughs> some uh, weird ass analogy the last time, uh, but it was like Eddie. Eddie something. Eddie Van Halen. No, it Eddie was better. like a, it was a, it was <laughs> it was like an acronym. So you know the keys on the guitar or whatever. Oh. And it was okay, like okay. Eddie some Eddie killed who whatever. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, killed with the like that. But it was, it was pretty nice. It was a it was an eight string guitar. I was like, and he said it was like eighteen hundred. I was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. All right. Like, if you're into that, you should, you should you should slap some stickers on it. Yeah, um, fuck it, yo. Like, I don't oh, fuck that. <laughs> it adds character, bro. <laughs> it needs its own tattoo artist. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanna, I wanna learn how to play the guitar at some point. To and get that guitar, it. bro. And then we can make our own intro to the podcast. The double guitar solo. Go in there. Yeah, absolutely. Fire come out. Pyrotechnics, you're in. So we we're recording, so anything can be edited out. But um, we wanted. <laughs> we wanted. Now you the, tell the, me. The best yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not lying. I thought that wasn't the so, point. No. So no, no, no. If you if you do ever want anything edited out, uh, that's fine. But what I was no. just, yeah, what I, the, the guest was, feels uncomfortable. Yeah. What I was. No, it's up to you guys. I'm not. I'm yeah, good. yeah. We're we're good with everything. But what I was gonna, <laughs> what I wanted to ask is, would you be feel uh, comfortable about this topic? Uh, how did you feel about the Santini situation? <laughs> As an adult, while we I were don't children, know this is gonna come up <laughs> because it's funny, right? We went to high school with her at that time. It's, you remember? Because I also how do wanna, I feel about it? Yeah, I also want to ask about the Miss Valencia thing that happened too. <laughs> you oh, remember when we Project spoke about Veritas. that when that happened? <clears throat> I took this kid outside to go watch that video because they fucking blocked it. Right. He took me, bro. He's the one that <laughs> because showed me the first the second board, it happened. You know why? You know why? Because it pisses me off. Like people are very quick to come in and take credit. They're very quick. If the fucking kindergarten sings a song, or if the fifth grade does a project, <laughs> or, if school, or if the high school makes a fucking championship. Ay, Dios mío, pero que cosa más grande. You know, there's fucking, like, little reports about it and emails. Like, okay, well, so, you know, brought to you by the mayor and by the fucking board of ed and by this, by that. Okay, fuck, God bless you. <clears throat> but guess what? Then, when, you know, shit hits the fan, like, everyone's just like, what? <laughs> Who knows this? I'm busy retiring right now. We're in the same room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, let's just, just put all the cards out on the table and just be real about it, okay? Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like the whole, so like, so I, <laughs> I was like, these bastards, like, look, I was like, as soon, like the moment I heard it, I was like, we got to do this. <laughs> like, I knew it. And we just go outside because, you know, it's nice to have like Metro piece of shit, like wife, you know, yeah. mobile hotspot. So then you do that and you're like, oh my God, she like actually has, you know, opinions, like <laughs> dirty opinions. Like, oh wow. Like she's human. You know what I mean? Like everybody thinks something of someone's like, yeah. Um, but, you know, that wasn't why. Because if it was just that, if she would just had, like, shitty opinions about people, that wouldn't have been why. Why did she get fired? Because she was aiding and abetting in a conspiracy. I mean, I'm, now I'm sounding like a fucker. No, but it's not. All, all you gotta do is say allegedly. But that, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but, the, I mean, you know, you put two and two together. So you retire because you got caught yeah. trying to say, well, we're just gonna pin it on the kid. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, come on. It's like, like watching that video is like so. Don't be like that. Or, you know what yeah, I mean? Like they're gross, fucking bro. like e like gross. from the time that they're fucking kids, they walk in. You know what I mean? Like you just you gotta try to help them to some degree. You you might not be able to tweak your own personality to the best you can, but again, just just see it. Just try to see it from their perspective for a second. Just for a, just try, it. and then you'll notice. Like okay, I have to try a little harder, and let's go. When you're at that point, and you're just like 
fuck them. Like, I'm going to ruin their fucking... I'm like, I'm going to ruin your, your childhood because this teacher, like, is it lied about me. You know what I mean? Like, you walk away from that as a kid. God forbid it. Oh, you know, again, for yeah. expediency purposes. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, you know what I mean? It's just like, then, you know, build your own business to make, then go do something else. Like, really yeah. do something else. Because you're yeah. hurt. Like, at you're that point, people. like, you may as well just fucking, like, you know, take to the hand, and that's not right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's just fucking, you know, like, serious, like, big time. You know what I mean? I remember um, when she was teaching in ninth grade, um, she was still in the freshman academy, and mm. she would kind of push her morals and her ideals onto the students as she was giving class. She was a history teacher. It's hard not to do that, yeah. but yeah. But she does it a lot. But yeah. To the you, point where it was like, you gotta, yo, like, you gotta you know, reel back. Right, and like, right the yoke has to be short between yourself and whatever's driving. You're supposed to like give general information. Yeah. <laughs> I th- when I, or at least be willing to be challenged on it on an open front where you're yeah. not like, you know, like, yeah, you don't like, get <laughs> like really pissed like volcanic. But pushing morals and then getting caught for that, like something, doing something so yeah, moral, like, that's where it got me. I was like, damn, these teachers, some of these teachers don't give a fuck. Like, like yeah, they, they don't. Just, they don't. You know what? And it's, it's like, I, I mean, at some point you just gotta, I mean, like there were times I just want to fuck like whatever be done with it I just want it to be done you know but for some then you realize that there's more to do like there is actually good to do for others then they go and they find other opportunities or they just say no and then okay then you didn't you know you went your way I go mine and whatever but you know that the, the Kathy thing I mean I you know you almost wish that you know, they, they don't retire, that she didn't retire, like, actually, like, went up in front of people and, like, had, like you know what I mean? Like, okay, I, I gotta eat my shit. Like, I have to take my yeah. medicine now. And panel with, like, the parents, like, hey, this close. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this close. Yeah, they just, like, like if, disappear if, off the face of the earth. Yeah, they like, like, if you're... not really getting any... Like, yeah, like, you, you gotta face your accusers crazy, and you also gotta... You know what I mean? Like, if you, you don't have the balls like to do that, you know, to, like, if you're gonna play that game, like, there are prices to pay. So, like, you just, you gotta face it. Uh, with Jean Jean Cole, if if you see like if you drug test, I wouldn't be surprised. But if you drug tested half of the <clears throat> teaching popular, like you know the staff and ever, um, and I'm not just in Union City, but let's just say Hudson County, let's just say the state. Okay, you'd lose half your fucking faculty. Like you'd lose everybody. The point of that is, you know. It's almost like you expect teachers to be kind of fucked up or funny or quirky or weird or like they have a habit like this guy's getting divorced he's all fucked up he's like, this guy, this guy. <laughs> you know Miss Gordon's drinking or like you know Mister Ryan's smoking pot or whatever I know like this guy just does coke and he's cheating on his or like she's you know what I mean like like they have the, the the point is like as long as they're doing their job and as long as everyone <laughs> as long as the kids aren't getting hurt you for, you forgive them for those quirks. <laughs> Weird. You, you forgive him for all that weird shit. But then what happens is this. You, you know, then you notice the one... The te- and, I, and I'm not... Ugh, I hate profile. But it's just like... Like, no bad... Like, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, is like, into fitness, like, super, like you know... I, I, I don't know. It's almost like you're, you're suspiciously... You're trying to find out what's wrong with you. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're Mr. Perfect? Like... You know, I, I, I was... I never thought he was perfect, but I'm saying, like, like very upstanding and sort of like, you know... Stra- I mean... I don't know. I mean, th- again, that's just a fallacy. I'm, I'm just, you know, that's just perception. But a couple of things on a, per- you know, like I would walk in in the morning, like when I wasn't late, and sometimes, you know, he'd be there, like with the, like the, the girl. I, get, I, I, I don't even know her name. I don't even know her fucking name. <laughs> Can we say it? No, we should. I don't remember it. Oh, whatever. I, I remember the name. The, but it's the, just the, the girl. The, yes. Okay. Allegedly. And and you like, surprised. just hang out. <laughs> the wouldn't be surprised. I would right. And then like like I guess her her crony, like her her gravitat, like little gravity of orbiter. You know what I mean? Like her orbiter. You know, you know, you know, little, little right. The insect, or mosquito a follower. I, I, you know I don't want to say but yeah, like like the the satellite. Or, <laughs> like just hanging out, like in the morning, and I'm like, "Good morning, Mr. Santini." Like, like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Like in my head, I'm like, "What are you doing?" What kills me is that, and this is what I what I heard from an administrator, is that this tried to get squashed outside of the chain of command, right? Meaning, when you suspect, either as a teacher or as an administrator, 
You know what I mean? So like a direct <laughs> supervisor, fucking VP, principal, whatever. You know what I mean? Like you really have, uh, you know, an articulable story to say. Okay, wait a minute. I'm seeing a pattern of behavior here. You know, you're supposed to go through a chain of command and. Best if you send emails so that way there's something in writing. They hate they hate it when you complain about it through email. Any problem that you have, yeah. because then there's an actual piece of evidence saying no, it's I sent this trail. email. Right, it's it's just right. It's just a paper trail. Exactly, it's just a, a digital paper trail. They don't like it, but you're supposed to do things like that, mm. right? It it behooves you because then it helps you and say, okay, no, I sent the email this date, this happened here, I did this, you know what I mean? So at least you have, a, you know, a reasonable story to tell, like, yeah. of what you claim you word saw. Of, word of mouth is... I so then I hear, like, well, that didn't happen. Instead, the principal and the supervisor, when I was there, while that, before all this came out, talked to him directly, just sat him in an office and just tried to, like, you know, ask him directly. Like, that's not how you do it. He's, of course you're gonna fucking deny it. You know what I mean? Like, like, don't be ridiculous. But they do that because it just makes everyone look better. Because it keeps everything down and nothing's on paper. Everything's fucking hand... You know what I mean? Like, hand yeah. notes. Like, they that, want, that's... They look the, like the good school because they want to keep their, like... Around, keep the district, you the know, district looking, looking clean. Good. Every The budget's always on par or up and you're always spending on shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, things <laughs> that you don't need. Just a lot of, a lot of ways. But to this point is that before the police report. They were, you know, like they, they were trying to, cr basically just trying to crush it in-house. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You can't do that. Like, it is, no. Like, you have to go through proper channels. All that means is that you got to tell an authority. Like, you actually have to go through and say, I mean, either talk to your, like, little, you know, to your resource officer right then and there, or you got to talk to someone else. You know what I mean? Like, talk to, um, you know, the next step up. But there has to be some officiation that goes on with that. Like, you know, uh, child services, mm -hmm. something, something has to be done. Um, you know, or else you lose your job. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then some. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen because you want to keep everything clean. And again, turkeys and the toys and the fucking little, you know, I mean, it's been wow. going on for thousands of years, right? The bread and circuses have never stopped. Right, government has just gotten sharper and yeah. neater and like you know sleeker and cheaper, and you know it's just other variations of it. But that's what happens in the public arena, or so at least in the public school arena. Um, more absolutism mitigated by sloppiness, and this is the worst kind of sloppiness, right? Because I think statistics uh, don't quote me, but I think like one in ten students in the country who go to public school are abused in some way, shape, or form. Right, some way, shape, or form. You define it whether it's, you know, emotional, verbal, unfortunately, then physical, and whatever. You know. mm. So, why, why, why continue that? Because it's part of the culture, right? Just keep everything hush, you know, like the old <laughs> Siciliano, fucking like, you know, it's it, it ruins things. It sours the mood, and it it just it takes away too much emotion and intellect from what you're supposed to be doing is educating, you know what I mean? Or at least trying to show some passion in a field where, you know, your students might take interest, take root somewhere, and be, a, you know, a local hero, you know? Which, by the way, like, send, telling a kid that they can be a champion in a, in a country of, like, over 330 million is like setting them up for disaster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. you're more likely going to be the best artist in your city or county. Yeah. You're going to be the best podcaster in your city or county. Yeah. Maybe even state. You know what I mean? Like, hope for the best. Always shoot for fucking, for being your absolute best. You know, no holds bar. Like, just go, 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 go. Um, you know, but be realistic. You know, just yeah. be realistic. Life, like, the pains in life are huge and the pleasures are very small. Yeah. That's really, the, you know, and people don't like to think about it. It's like, ah, you know, it's like, I just, a lot of people feel good all the time. The same, yeah. Right? Who said a life was meant to be happy or that, you know, like it was supposed to be this way, right? Those are like machinations in, yeah. in the mind that just, you know, make you feel better. It's just yeah, a, another survival mechanism. You guys are getting cold. You can close it. It's up to you guys. I'm good. I'm good. Open I'm good. Right. Thank you. No problem. It's crazy that we're talking about how, like, like morals and teachers, right? How people try to push their ideas into <laughs> students. Like when I was a kid, I remember I was so fond of like writing and and uh, math and shit like that. When I was a kid, I remember I, I would do it. And then as I grew up, like teachers started getting worse and worse. And I remember like, I got left back in fifth grade and there was this one teacher 
um, Mr. Licamera, if you're still alive, fuck you. Who used to, I was in sixth grade and used to purposely go up to me and be like, uh, oh, what's up, fifth grader? Like to a kid, bro. I was like eight, nine years old. So like bullying you? Yeah, like bullying you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're like, not so power teachers, trips. You're a whole so adult. Just thought that shit was funny, and I was just yeah, like, it's sad. I don't bro. know you. <laughs> Get the fuck away. It, from it makes more sense when you realize that there are no adults. No, yeah. adults all like they don't exist and they never existed. We yeah. adults do not of, exist. It's a bunch of headless chickens. Do around. not exist. Like don't count on it. Even if they're eighty or ninety, they'll still have like the most backwards and retarded ideas that you've ever seen. <laughs> No, you know what I mean. Just fucking give it. Up. The only difference between me and the students, even to like a preschooler, is just the time. Like the literal, like the actual, just time. Like, Bring a live. I'm. Longer. That's it. Yeah. That is it. We're still learning. That's the only yeah. difference. Nothing else. <laughs> like I don't think so. Like I had a kid ask me the other day. She says, she says, "Why do you like?" She says, "What is it about being a music teacher that you like?" And I said, "Because." You see it backwards. I'm the student in the room with 20 or 30 teachers. And you people are teaching me every day, right? It's, it's not the other way around. Like, you think you're here listening to me. I'm here listening to all of you. Like, that's the difference. It's to actually, like, just take it all in. Because when you stand still, everything communicates. You know, even if it's all at the same time, but everything communicates. So, that's what I told her. Everyone's just like, all right, we'll take it. Like that, you know that was acceptable. I didn't get, I didn't get fucking hanged that day. Like by the, you know, <laughs> we don't agree with your answer. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. You know it, it's different. Like you can debate a kid, just don't argue. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like like don't get fucking nasty. You're like hey fifth grader. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like don't get like that because then you you lose. You, you've lost. You lose. It made no sense. You, no, I mean you. As long as you're willing to be wrong yeah, in a debate with a kid, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, like what does yeah. that teacher get out of? bullying of, of you for being left back like exactly he knows that you're left back so you're in fifth grade a second time so you, every time he sees you he's like hey fifth grader if he would have been more open to talking grade. to you and maybe say you know what i actually learned something from this kid yeah I why actually learned is something. he in fifth grade again other people will notice and it's not that you lose power you don't lose power like that. you lose power when you go ah, and you fucking scream and you, and you like you and you bully like you that's when you lose the power you gain the power when you have the open discussion and people can like bing, the, the lights go on when the, when the lights actually go on, it, it shouldn't matter if you have the degree or not. It's just that the lights go on. Yeah. As long as the lights are on, we're good. As long as the lights are on and the ideas are coming and the ideas are popping, it doesn't matter who's, you know, who's like the, you know, the guy with the certificate. Like, th then that's out the window. So do you think it's better to have open discussion without putting so much emotion in it? Because I constantly have discussions with, my, with somebody I know. Yeah. And... It always gets to where the point where I'm a little calmer and they get excited and they start talking with a to different tone of voice and they don't notice <laughs> that. They, then they say, oh, that's how I'm talking. What do you think about it? There's a lot of people that debate like that. I mean, it's, I guess it's just, um, I don't know, maybe not to be so, so emotionally invested. I mean, if, if you're really in the mindset of like wanting to actually have... You know, it could be formal debates then. It's just like, well, you have moderators and you have time limits and you have yeah. like sort of like, you know, mm -hmm. questions, like warm up questions. Like then it becomes very like, you know, um, sterilized. Um, I mean, you know, people are going to get are going to get heated about it. Yeah. I mean, as long as you can justify what you're saying and people are able to, you know, intelligibly capture yeah. like, Hey, what'd you say? Because you're screaming too loud or like you're too mm -hmm. like you're marbles in your mouth. You know, as long as the message gets through um, and you know, no one's ears are bleeding, then, I mean, you know, it's okay. But if you start getting emotional because you can't back up your case or you're wrong. Yeah, it's a different story. Or if you, start, if you feel like you're getting back into a corner and you don't want to admit, like, eh, okay, maybe my stance isn't correct. Yeah, then maybe I need to reevaluate. You know, it's almost like uh, it's harder to find the words to sort of get you out to negotiate that situation. It's just, it's just easy to be like, fuck you, man. Fucking <laughs> 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 Bill's Mafia, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Like, something like that. Like, <laughs> it, you know, I mean, yeah. But then if, if you know enough, or if you have, like, I guess enough ammunition, you know what I mean? Or yeah. if, you, if you have enough ideas or, or thoughts to posit, then things should flow more readily and more succinctly before it gets to that point. Yeah, before yeah. things become... <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it should never get to that point. Yeah, like, there was um there was this guy who went to a, I guess it was like a 
I, I think they said it was VidCon. But, like, there was a, a platform for a bunch of, like, he said, quote unquote, feminists that were speaking. Okay. And, like, they were talking about how it's very difficult to become a online creator and shit as a, as women sometimes and it's hard to like make money and have people right. uh, in their chats and stream and stuff and some guy was like why you, and this. all he did was he went to the microphone and he was like why do you guys act like you're the only ones that have it hard <laughs> and they're like fuck <laughs> you pussed out all of them <laughs> immediately and, yeah, <laughs> and they took the microphone away from him and they, they kicked him out ganged up on and him. I was just like Oh, uh, it was a Q&A session. <laughs> right, it was yeah. It Q. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See that? That was and the Q, bro. That was the A. <laughs> Fuck you, pussy right, that bitch. Was the, yeah, that's right. That was the answer. For, well, that's a problem, right? That's a problem. When, when you can't have the discussion, all of a sudden, sorry, get him out of here. Like he, Get him out. I'm not saying he didn't ask a volatile question. Like He was definitely going to get a reaction. Sure, um, yeah. You, know, you go the out same, there? At the same point, you don't deny someone... Uh, I guess a response or a platform. Right, and raise like, your words, not your voice. Yeah, like, and then you would you would combat that. You would bring up, I guess, statistics. Or sure, they could have shut them down if they yeah, had exactly. if they had the info. You yeah. know what I mean? I would like have an have a intellectual uh, and articulate debate instead of a. Uh, oh, I don't like what you said. So get out of here. Like, <laughs> what? Right. That's not really a Q and A session. It's a. Uh, it's most college and university now. Yeah, <laughs> most of it now is just like <clears throat> that's why I dropped out. You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> Honestly, it's like you know. Again, best education you could find for yourself, even if it comes out to self education, you're better off doing that. You know, I mean, as long as it's, as it's through the avenue that suits you best, then you know more power to you, right? Like that's that's the whole thing. You know, um, yeah, they they should have let him you know either speak, yeah. debate his points, right? Try to you know. Just, you know, the opening salvo, of course, is going to hurt. You know, you're not, not going to like it. Be like, well, you know, you admit it, are you? Like, whatever. <laughs> like, and you're like, yeah, I'm a misogynist bastard. Like, yeah, it's, they should have just, you know, listened to him. Or, or been able to, I mean, was he screaming? Like, was he, like, no. being belligerent? No, he was just being, he gave a little bit of attitude, but it was just the question. It was like, okay, stars. right, so, so they just didn't like the delivery, but the question yeah. was legitimate. Yeah, yeah. They said, well, why, like, why, what makes you think you have it so hard? Like, you're the yeah. only ones who have it hard. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, they flipped out because, you know, a lot of feminists have very strong and staunch views on the way that the world has been, is going, and is... And it's, it's it's like religion, it's like immutable. Like you can't, you know, no matter how much, it's like, damn, this is so much work to try to, try to get one idea into someone's head. Like, <laughs> like that's where the like the dense, like the thickness comes from. Like, oh, I can't fit it in there. What do you guys want a coke or a sprite? Uh, I'll take a coke. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. I was just Squirtle. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys got a cotton mouth or anything. I do a little bit. That's all right. No problem. Thank you. Time definitely slowed down when we started talking after uh, uh, about Valencia. Time definitely felt like it was like, <laughs> like the high kicked in. <laughs> exactly. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Cheers. We uh, I think we hit the hour mark like I five ten minutes ago. So that didn't feel right like on. an hour at all. Yeah, that didn't right. feel like an hour at all. Now going. get out! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we can keep going for another like fifteen twenty minutes. Right? Massacres. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Stay a little longer. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know. Hearing about all that shit was like, like when I when I heard about Santini first time around, it was like, I knew it. Like, yeah, that's like, I know. It was literally that though, because it's, it's like you really were surprised. Everyone knew. All the time. And everyone see, knew. I knew it. And you, like, but even that, you're like, you were surprised. Like, and it was like, knew. Prior, it's, wouldn't be surprised. Oh, like, like you yeah. said, uh, uh, a lot of patterns, uh, allegedly. But it's like <laughs> uh, the scooter. Uh, yeah, that was I, too. I don't. I like. It was. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny and cool at first, but I was like, yo, why do you, why do you come here on a scooter? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, like, like it, it's almost a little too. <laughs> It's too quirky. Those quirks we can't I, I'm, forget. I'm not the arbiter of quirk. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little... It's a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that, uh, that police report was... And, uh, like, there was, like, a shitty article by, like, whatever local NJ News, but, like, it was, like... Right. They found, like, a, a hatchet, handcuffs, and, like... <laughs> A bag uh-huh. of weed. I was like, what the fuck was going on? Right, a great time. <laughs> you know, like just a blast. Like, it's like, 
he swung on the cop or something or shoved them to try and run away. He's just like, like resisting arrest. Like, yeah. like a bit of like, no, man, I can't go, man. <laughs> like, you, you can just imagine it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, man, <laughs> Why that? Fuck you, man. Why that voice? I don't know. I mean, I he looked like, like a surfer. Or surfer. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, it just Come on, bro. <laughs> Was doing this to me. I remember we you went into about the, the fitness and shit. We went into the weight room right, one yeah. time, and he was in there shirtless. And I was like, "Yo, what that the fuck, fuck is going on, my guy? Like, right? Why see? you shirtless that's, in the school, bro? That's, that's not a. Yeah, that's that's not because it's a weight room. This, this is the weight room for the students. <laughs> yeah, so, not for you. Yeah, my guy. like get your own. Shirt. And even if you were in a gym. They wouldn't want you with your shirt off. Like, a yeah, lot of right. gyms tell you to put yeah. your shirt, like, to keep your shirt yeah. on because they don't like that type of, like, energy. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, that's weird. Great. Oh, my that's God. That's weird. It was a uh, funny behavior. There was a uh, other couple of gym teachers that I found. Oh, uh, yeah. I, you know, I was curious. Cause Let's you, go. You said you were going to get into this. <laughs> sure. So, I have a couple names that I want to run by you. All right. Um... Allegedly. Allegedly. Wouldn't well, be surprised. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised, would allegedly. Be surprised. And this is super allegedly. Johan, put like a a thing on my face that says super allegedly. This is going to be That's crazy. That's too much work. <laughs> nah, you're going to do it again. <laughs> just, just put regular just text. Put <laughs> <laughs> just regular text. Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to it as shitty as possible. Okay, one name I was thinking of. Aponte. Who's that? The, one of the gym teachers. He was the one that he, was, I think, like 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. He was pretty sure he had clear eyes, like clear you picture bluish like, eyes. No, no, I don't. I, don't I swear to God, I don't. Um, a Ponte. He was a gym, yeah, shorter gym teacher. Uh, he was a pretty fit guy. He would always be around a lot of students. Mm. A lot of students, girls. Damn, if I could. Oh my God, I can't believe I don't remember this guy's face. Um, the name does not ring a bell. Let's see if we can get a picture. But right here. I mean. I was about to say I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> <laughs> but like, like seriously I wouldn't be surprised um, try, try, try what the fuck the Union City staff, this uh, guy's talking pictures. shit Union City New Jersey staff oh my god I'm, this is there should be on, like, the these are all website, like the stories website. that someone uh, a friend of a friend of a friend told me right right like, this is like all <laughs> hearsay but I wanted to know because, telephone yeah it's all that alright but I mean I had summer school one year we had summer school one year uh-huh. together with another kid of ours a uh, friend of ours, and we would see a bunch of girls like, not even in summer school, just pull up. Not even I don't I don't mean like too light for words, but I, I would like to say like flocking. Sure. Or, oh like, sure. <laughs> right, right, right. Flocking. Come, come. Right. right. I, I hate to say Decent it, but, in. you know, right, bitches be crawling. <laughs> right, is, is, is that the phrase? Yeah. I no way. I believe so. I think so. Um, oh my god, I'm trying to, I'm trying to say it. Yeah, but they don't have a picture. That's okay. <laughs> right, smart, <laughs> smart. <laughs> they don't want you to put oh names Christ. to faces. It, I a, wish I had my, my security card. Was, there was something else I was going to mention. Um, on our security cards, there's like a, a, a sort of, it's like a, well, it looks like a sketch of the New York skyline. Right. I, I think I, I think I've mentioned this. Yeah, yeah. Wait, was that the only name? <laughs> no, I have more names, but he... Oh, you know. sorry. No, no, you got um, But it, it just came to me, like... Uh, and I wish I had it. I, I, I would show it to you. Um, like, the back, it's all white. You know, it just has my name in blue, and then, like, other D, like, Union City, Board of Ed, whatever the address. But then you see the New York skyline. And, and like, a while back, it, it like, when we first got these cars, I was looking at it, like, cause I hate it. I hate <laughs> doing this. Like, yeah, we have to, like fingerprint in with the card and shit like it's ta- right it's that's cool. draconian right like you're Im- implicating yourself anyway i look at the card and you know i thought to myself like you know when you go to like a doctor's office or when you go to a, a professional place that deals with children usually you'll see things like like children's drawings on the walls sort of like adorning the hallways or the rooms or like the waiting rooms um, or like, like children's foundations, like sometimes they'll put advertisements and it'll be like little kid stick figure drawings of the kids that you assume you're going to be helping, whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, we, like, we're the board of education, or at least like that's who I'm working for. And they're, con- what they're conceptualizing, the value of educating is not the students. Like you don't even see pictures of the kids. Like you do on the website, mm-hmm. but not on the card. Like it's not the kids. You don't see, or like drawings and shit like that, like, like student, you know productions it's a like a multi-billion dollar skyline like that's what 
that's their concept of what the value is in having Union City. It's not the yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> it's the real estate. Yeah, yeah. And if they put it on the fucking security guard. Like, you gave up the ghost so hard. <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, it's, it's so, like, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. When, when they can't even see it. And it's yeah. in, you know, like, that's yeah. where it's at. Robert Menendez Jr., right? <laughs> Bowser Jr. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I have to, I, wait, what was you say his name was? Why is, the fuck is that? I wouldn't be surprised. Nah, I know. I reckon, said I wouldn't be surprised. That's Alfonso. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, that is. That, yeah. Oh shit. Get the that's fuck out. Let me see that shit. <laughs> wait, wait. Don't get in the <laughs> camera real quick. Pass it to Xavier. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, be surprised. surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. What the? How the fuck? I wouldn't did you be surprised. Find it? Did you, did you that's funny. That I wouldn't be surprised. No. That's funny. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. She said she also had a, a Ponte as a teacher. Mm. Doesn't make um, sense. Did you feel like he ever tried to approach you? I, was no, <laughs> I just heard a whole bunch of stuff about like you know girls and stuff yeah. around and yeah. Oh, but uh, oh, shit happened. There we go. It it's fucked just up. In summer school. Yeah. <laughs> which, which, which I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I guess another name. Uh, what was this guy's name? The the vice principal. Mr. Valdez. Well, yeah. Valdez. That I've, I've never heard. No, nah, I, 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 I couldn't think that's too much. To, I would be surprised. surprised. Yeah. You wouldn't be surprised? I think I would. Uh, no, I said I would. Oh, you would be surprised. Be surprised. Yeah, right. I think yeah. I would be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard that one time, and I didn't think it was because he didn't look like the guy, like the type that would have that type of attention all the time. Right. But I, it was, I was always curious about it because you know you can, you never know. Aponte Santini, it's just like, it's crazy. It's like that whole that whole Valencia thing just made me skeptical about a lot of people. Exactly. And I was just like, so what? What else? And that's okay. You should be else, skeptical. What else? Are, what else are you hiding? Because she said like this isn't the first time. Yeah. And like if this there's also so- was my first time hearing it, being at almost at my the end of my educational right. career. So it's like, what the fuck did I not hear about for the past decade? <laughs> I you know what I'm this may you know I don't know if this is a popular opinion with a lot of people. It's not. We love people, but. Zoom, if anything, has taught you that, or it's, it's, it said to me that there's no reason why you can't have, obviously, except for like, you know, bathrooms and whatever, like, you know, you, why can't you have audio and video? Like, if you're serious about, you know, protecting kids, and if there are a lot of things going on, then, you know, why why can't you, you know, like, record the lessons? What are you afraid of? Like, like... You know, I'm not saying that people shouldn't have privacy, but if you're in a public building, you know what I mean? Like, they're, I'm not and I, and I hate electric eyes, but at the same time, you know, it's like you were on Zoom and, you know, in front of everybody, like, yeah. and, and those could be recorded, yeah. you know what I mean? Is that what it's going to take to stop this kind of behavior? That's, like, that's sad. But, it, but what's even sadder is that it probably won't. Yeah. It won't stop it. It'll make yeah. it even more insidious. Teachers, teachers you know what I mean? Like, like, up, 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 yeah. up, up until eighth grade, they'd be like, "There's a there's a camera in this classroom." I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah, know what the cameras look like. It. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> don't, 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 be, don't be ignorant. <laughs> like we're not that. Well, listen, hard. I know I know I'm a child, but I I can see with my eyes. But I literally remember people yeah. walking around like pointing out the dud cameras in high school because they just set up fake like those shit. <laughs> and you could tell they're literally not even attached to anything. Like where's that cable going. There was, there was, oh <laughs> there See, was, I'm not surprised. They just had time, dud um, cameras in the high in high school. There was one time that, um, cause t- back in like elementary or middle school too, I think even they would used to walk you to the uh, the next class or the next period. Like hmm. you'd walk with the whole class. No, the and then there was one time uh, where the teacher flat out pointed at a floodlight and said that was a camera, and I laughed and got in trouble for it because I was like, <laughs> taking it serious. And I'm like. Because you were revealing the truth, and, and, and then you could have gotten the whole class laughing at her, and they can't have that. Yeah, yeah like that's why you got in trouble. But then you lose control because you're yeah. because you're they a kid, that. and because you get that authoritative figure yelling at you already. It's just like you shut down. You don't you don't challenge. Right. Yeah. In that, that moment, you should have been like, "But that's a fucking floodlight." Yeah. <laughs> you should be like, "Excuse me, what are you talking about?" Say <laughs> that. You're crazy, lady. You know, and then other kids will be like, "Yeah." <laughs> 
Yeah, Miss Hoover, just, that is a floodlight. What are you doing? Why are you lying to the us? And the kids cry, and the parents don't really think it's that's why, why is he lying? Like, in an instant like that, it's an unjustified. <laughs> like, why are you coming at a kid like that? Like, you you knew Because you, you got caught. Lying, like. <laughs> you got caught lying by a child, caught you, the oh, adult, shit. the supposed leader. It's all crying. <laughs> and, you know what I mean? It's just like all these manipulators, or like the elf, the elf on the shelf. It's the worst fucking thing I've ever heard of in my life. I fucking hate it. The elf on the shelf is like... Ugh. It, it, yeah, dude. They're just talking about a It's this fucking toy that they put on oh. the, like, the top of that stupid green elf. Yeah. And they'd be like, he's doing reconnaissance for Santa Claus. <laughs> on the kids. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Like, is it really? Talk like I mean, you, like, that when I first heard about that, the there's also a Jewish version. That's called, what those are for. I've seen that's those what that all is. the time. Yeah, is that that's what that is. There's a Jewish version <laughs> called <laughs> no. It, <laughs> uh, um, it's called a uh, mench on a bench. If you, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, it's it's the it's the Jewish equivalent. But flip that first the, letter upside down. The, it's a completely different. <laughs> the I hate the elf on it. It's just another form of control. It's like the floodlight thing. Yeah. Or fucking teachers like there are cameras everywhere. I'm watching you. <laughs> the tiny like, forms of control. The, the floodlight is a camera. I want to go back to like your, your what the bench fuck? on the bench. <laughs> what is that? I, I told you. <laughs> but, but serves the same purpose. That's cool. That's cool. I just like watches the kids. Yeah, like and, and back to your, uh, back. to the religion thing too. It's like I do, I do now. Like now that you talked about it, I do feel like a, it wouldn't surprise me that it is used for control because it's like Absolutely. when you think about when you think about the commandments and like what you're told not to do. It's like that's all. It's also like to mitigate. You know what I mean? So it's like when you're told not to sleep around and you're taught abstinence, population control. Right, right. When you're taught not to steal and do things and be good to your your neighbor. That's to lower crime rate and whatever. So like, <laughs> right. I, that's He's just, thinking deep right that, now. That's what deep, deep. <laughs> He's getting in deep. <laughs> yeah, we're in. But I always thought it was like just moderation, but no. But I then like that. that's where you. That's, that's the, I've always thought that there's had to be a hand in it somewhere. Like, why would you make the conscious decision to separate church from state? Yeah, like, I don't know. Where, uh, but knowing. that's bullshit because we still like have. God and all yeah. this church shit yeah. within our state, so it's not really separate. No, yeah, at all. No, and it doesn't matter if you don't believe it. It only matters if they believe it, mm-hmm. right? Because you could still like put that like in the, you know, in flight when the yeah, airplane like, goes upside se- down. Se- it was an act of God. We're gonna try to get Congress to say it was an act of God. Like, it doesn't matter if you don't believe it. As long as they believe in it, they can reinterpret that and use it in any way, shape, or form. Like Lord, also doesn't always mean God. Yeah, it just means a higher power. Right. Or yeah. a-, a lot of the the entrapment has been through legalese um, throughout history just and, and the adoption of like dead names or surnames or like like for example like when you call uh, like someone sir you you're referring to sire or you know like your lordship mm-hmm. but sire like what in nature sires like lions sire children like they sire their young or their offspring but you are a beast if you're the child of that lion mm-hmm. So when you say sir, you're referring to sire, like you're my lion and I'm the beast that came out of you. So you're sort of like putting yourself, just little little yeah. things like that, or like um, connotation of certain words. Yeah, or, or like like your last name. Your 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 last name is your dead name, or like usually it's an event or a place. Your given name is different. It's given to you because it happened actually at that moment in nature, in reality. Anything else is as an attachment is your straw man. And that's what's on your licenses, that's what's on your social security, that's the thing that ties you mostly to the system to be able to say that you are alive and you are taking responsibility of this person. Even the word itself, person or persona, is mask. And that's just an affront to something natural. So they control that and if you're taking on, say, well, if my mask does something bad, I'm going to pay the penalty for it. So when you submit... Your information, you're you're associating yourself with that dead name or with that last name or that straw man, and then you're in the world of legalese. You know what I mean? Like you're, you know, it's it's funny. Like when you, like the higher up you go, actually the secret is the higher up you go, the more your hands are tied. So like it's all involuntary too. Like we didn't choose to be born into these systems. 
that we're all like trapped in kind of. Technically, it, it, it's the parents' fault for signing you up with a birth certificate to the government by saying that you have a last name. But isn't or, it or equal or to even a sign middle it? name? Um, if you don't sign the birth certificate, there, there was a there was a point. Yeah, they, well, that's where that's why midwives are important. You know what I mean? Like instead of going to the hospital and uh, you know, and actually, I mean in today's day and age, it's more more light, it's more viable. I mean, you know, it's more of an option. But you know, you know, the hospitals. I mean, that's part of the medical tyranny. So they sign you up for it immediately, right? Like you can't go without naming your child, and that way the government can pin a social security number to you. You know, so you're like taxable property as a person. You know? So the only way to be born out of that would be like to not be born in a hospital and not have an accident. Something thing. like that, like where you're you're literally just born out of the system. But has it I ever mean, worked? Has anyone ever? Done I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe those people are so good at it, we haven't found it. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> like know. I mean, it, it's, no it's tough. And though. How do you operate out of the system? Yeah. That's, that's the thing. The, that the it's thing. a problem because you, it, it's, it's not. It, you know, things are not set up in a way where you can't, like, you know what I mean? Like, everything yeah. is working against you. That's why there's so much emigration and immigration, because it's people that are trying to find the system that works best for them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when, like, you, you, ha you are secured not uh, by your right, but in your right of ingress and egress within the uh, continuous United States. Like, you, you are secured in your right. If you're secured by your right, that means that there's something else that's pulling you away from being immediately unaligned in that stance at that moment in nature in time and reality you know what i mean um they split you and when i say they like government alphabet agencies you know irs social security all of them they split you because it's it's um there really is a me myself and i meaning i feel good you know that's a picture of me and myself could be the attached could be like a straw man or like you know my uh, some other concern or external. Um, if they can control one part of that, they can con they can manipulate or control other parts. So if they can get the I, my corpus, my body, to sign off and say, this is me, myself, on the driver's license, your full name, not just your given name, mm. then you say, okay, license of registration, please. And you say, all of a sudden, all right, you step out of the car. I'm not getting on the fucking car. I'm a Fourth Amendment, you know, I'm a Fourth Amendment citizen. You can't do this to me. Then all of a sudden, and they rip you out and say, what happened? Well, you're, uh, <laughs> you're violating the U.S. Highway Safety Act. <clears throat> no law. I mean, it's law, but they say, you know, it's an act or it's a policy or it's something else. It's just words and all the legalese. That's a big, a big, 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 big part of the problem. And there's really, at this point in 2022, I mean, yeah, you'd have to be, like, born in the wild. There's this guy on, yeah. on like TikTok and YouTube who literally just goes to places where it says that they can't be filmed, but because he uh, they're public, they're public spaces. Oh yeah, like he's a First Amendment auditor. Yeah, yeah, like so. like Rogue Nation and like yeah, like, yeah it's great. Those are those it's are great. Sometimes to just watch, I mean, just like because you get the cows behind the front desk. Be like, can I help you, sir? <laughs> You, sir, you, you can't video in here. Even though it's public and you're, yeah. you're allowed to. There's there's case law defending that by the Supreme Court, you know, like, yeah. you, you can do that, but then they try to bully you and color of law you and say, well, no, you can't do that because it's a violation of our employer or, our, you know, our, our patient's rights, you're in a fucking hospital and you know, it's a public part, you can't, do you know, but the more people say, I'm not, I'm just not going to do it because I, I don't want to deal with the hassle, then they get away with it. Yeah. They get, they, that's the whole thing. They just yeah. keep getting away with it, keep getting away with it. And then they make the guys who do it or the people who actually do it they make them feel weird. They say, oh, why is this? He's a rabble rouser. This person's, you know, like he's making trouble or whatever. No, they're actually standing up on their rights. You know, mm -hmm. what rights or privileges. <laughs> that's why, that's why those are always funny to watch because it's like, I should do that shit and get some views real quick. <laughs> yeah, right, do it here <laughs> at Union City. Bitch. And right, you, you'll get bullied right away. Like, <laughs> I, I, sure. I guarantee it because, you know, like it's just like that. Like that's what, like, do you know where this is Yeah, no, no, no. And they'll like they'll put their hand <laughs> in front and they'll come start. Out come out of yeah, just like that. It'll be like in your face. Be like no, no, no. And they'll try to like start pushing the shit away. Like don't touch my camera. And then it escalates, and the cop puts his hand. Like, okay, sir, you're gonna have to calm down. Gonna calm down, sir. You, you come weapon. with us. You, you Talk to me. me. And then they you start, got a weapon. Oh, but Lord, even like Lord. the cops don't even know the rights because 
Usually, yeah, forget it. When you get a cop to pull up, the cop would tell you just like that. And then <laughs> it, it, if you don't like stop it, then you're then you're disturbing the peace or some other bullshit. It's like they yeah they have you for something else. They stand on like half interpretations of some things that have been passed, but then took a lot of court time, uh, you know, to to word it to a certain way where they have you know it's very hard to define things. You know what I mean? Like in court, like like define that. Like when Harvey Weinstein was was on trial he was just like i need the court i need you to define rape like you know what i mean like like that's the first line of defense is to actually define it because it's it's all it's like next to impossible to define something it's really really hard to define things so he you know obviously it didn't go well for him but like <laughs> but it, but it was a legitimate thing that they had to think about like oh shit like you know and it's like they they they, they, they so use it like a weapon, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and they weaponize like actual like words, you know? What I mean? you know what I mean? Yeah, like they 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 try to weasel their way the way out of things, mm-hmm. or well, they, they legislate into things. Look at uh, with uh, Max Maxwell with Lane. Yeah, I want. Yeah, where's the client list? Where's the list? Where, where, I, where's the fucking list? I don't care about Johnny Depp <laughs> and Amber Heard. I want the client list. It was happening at the same time. Sure, yeah, and all we, all, all you got were like, you know, sketches from inside the courtroom, and meanwhile, it was just like you could see like the pimples on Amber Heard's face, like they got so close up. You know, what I mean? <laughs> like why are those court cases allowed to be televised? That's what a lot of people are arguing but about. the but things like the Galang Maxwell case because and all that isn't public you, to the eye. Because I wouldn't be surprised if you had presidents, much, vice presidents, much, yeah, if you had yeah, lobbyists, if you had congressmen, if you had corp, you know, CEOs, CFOs. Like, happen? Like she hasn't. That was a year ago, it's, right? But the whole lot, Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein years, years. It's yeah. a lot more acceptable to put on uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's uh, garbage on display than not even that. They're, they're, shit that might involve their privacy, the government. Their personal privacy had to go on air. Everyone saw it. Yeah, but like it's nasty. Because Lee Maxwell, we see nothing, nothing. I thought you said two sentences. Yeah, like on air, they were playing clips of like audio clips and video clips of their like shitty marriage and like all the right. all the like fights and stuff. But like we get <laughs> we get Tab nothing garbage. Absolutely nothing from and no memes. And when we get something, it's like a paper that has like a bunch of black lines because like, yeah, it's, everything's it's like been a, redacted. redacted. Yeah, bunch and of you redacted can't like black see lines. like only like again bad. It's just everything bad happens behind closed doors, you know what I mean? Or at least in that regard, like when you have groups of people, like government and things like that, working together, you know. Well, I, like, what does redacted what's, even fucking mean? Uh, oh, removed or rules, erased. Rules for thee and not for me. I, mean, exactly. I can see it and you can't. Like, and it's so why? messed up. It's, uh, it's, it's physical censorship. Any, <laughs> any, any other names or anything else? Uh, like... <laughs> Actually, are we yeah, doing I, don't, I, hate, I think I interrupted that big time. No, you're good, you're good. We're, we're, we're about we have? an hour and 30, so we, oh, can, we can end it here if you guys want. Uh, no, I, absolutely. I mean, it's it's on you guys. I, I, I talk until I fall asleep. If you're, if you're, if you're, you're more than welcome to come for another episode one day if you like. <laughs> All right. Structure Him and Sumo <laughs> together? Oh, my God. That'd be dope. <laughs> who who is this person? Anyway? Got, it was a kid we went to high school with. His name was Julian Drew. Do you call him Zumo? Yeah. Everyone called him Sumo, yeah. yeah. Sumo or Sumo? Sumo. 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 Yeah, yeah. Did you ever guy. see um, someone like choke slam another student? Uh, Fake choke slam. Uh, uh, no. Oh, WWE. Okay. That would have been cool. I mean, yeah. I used to do things Sumo like that when I was in high school. Time, he, used to, he used to do it all the time. So I, that's why I was hoping maybe you caught a glimpse of it one day. No. <laughs> I, 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 I did the, the fake slam. Maybe like it, that's funny. We, like the friends would obviously prep for it and it, it, it was just going to get hurt. Get the table ready. When Sumo was a senior, he had this one sophomore that kept like running up to him. He was like, Yo, Charles, I know how to, I know how to drop. <laughs> I, know I know how to drop. And you just pick him up and you hear all that skin slapping the tile in the lunchroom. And I was just like, yo, what's wrong with you? <laughs> it's funny, you see him after that, he'd be like, oh. That's why they started putting, um, I don't know if you ever went into the lunchroom after seventh period, but that's why they started putting the lunch tables up. Because he was <laughs> slamming them on the tables. That's awesome. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> see, like, when you coop people up in a building all day, 
Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah, happen. Go to the park and do that. That's what I used to do. I used to go after, after school. I used to go like, all right, you ready to play? I'm like, all right. This kid like bending me back. I see my feet like near my head almost. I'm like, ah, I'm doing like flips and all this crazy stuff. Just playing, just you know, horse playing. You know, what I, mean? I could just imagine. Oh my god, he would have the top rope. He had the theatrics going too. He would be like. He would <laughs> like raise dance his hand around, to a like, fake crowd. And oh, <laughs> he would no, look around. No. He would looking up to the stadium. It was amazing. Bro. I loved it. I loved it. It was the best show in the four years of high school that we and had. And all the rants he'd go on. That's what I was saying. Yeah, bring him on. I'll, I'll... Flat Earth. Oh, my God. We he just was... got to find him. That's a person in the tub. Oh, that's right. He, he's, he, uh, he's, he on the, he's on the he milk cart. He's, 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 he's with him on the sumo. After but, uh, saying some very anti-Semitic things on Instagram... Ghost. But it was, oh, uh, that's too it was bad. a very good hey, podcast. I, great I think, to be I here, be gentlemen. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Pleasure, Likewise. Bang. <laughs> yes. You All right. Do that outro? Anything you want to say? No, I think, notes? I think building a platform for honest, open discussion, not saying anyone's right, not saying anyone's wrong, just listening to ideas is something we need a lot today. Yeah. And I hope our platform becomes that for the rest of the world. Have a good night. Cheers to that.